Hey Crafty Peeves, it's Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. Um, this is my uh, Trey Shore Deluxe uh, Design Team project. It's a little late this week uh, because I have been sick. I had to be. I had to go to the emergency room. Um, I'm okay. Uh, um, I have a very, very, very sensitive stomach, and uh, I've developed it over the course of years. And um, of course I'm a diabetic as well and I take metformin and uh, it has weakened my stomach and um, I have I have had um, everything you think of uh, ran on my stomach I mean I've been tested for H. pylori I've been tested for this and that I've had a tube run down my throat like all this other stuff and basically what I have is called esophageal spasms and uh, my home cure that the doctor told me to do did not work and in that case the times that it does not work that is a severe case I have to go to the ER and they give me medication and also this stuff I wish I could take home um, it is like a Gaviscon with some uh, Novocaine in it and you swallow it and it calms it all down and um, they failed to as you see here <laughs> Um, this IV did not work, so they put it here, and let me tell you something, this right here hurt. Oh my gosh, I like to come off the table with this one. Um, but I'm okay, and I'm feeling better, I am slowly recuperating from it, and, um, it's just part of my life. I mean, uh, I have diabetes, I have fibromyalgia, uh, I have a thyroid problem and I have a stomach problem so they all go and they all collide with each other so um, I just craft through my pain I craft through it I don't let it try to um, define me I don't talk about it a lot because I don't really you know I don't want it to um, take over my crafting because crafting is my um, escape and I know it's an escape for a lot of y'all. And I don't want my sickness to uh, to um, infiltrate my crafting, basically. So, I don't let people know a lot. So, I mean, I let them know if I have the sniffles or something. But as far as something, you know, like a constant complaint, I don't, I don't write about it or anything. Because there's nothing nobody can do. And... Um, all I can do is live with it, and this is the the cards I was dealt in life, so I know I've got an ace or two under my sleeve on good days, so I'm just going to push through it. And that's what I encourage everybody that is suffering with uh, ailments and diseases and, and cancers and everything is to just push through it. Just don't let it define you, and I don't. So, enough about me. Let's get started on these wonderful ideas that I have floating. Um, Tracer Deluxe is known for their fabulous bling pieces and beautiful incotrit, uh, very um, detailed trims. And I wanted to, this uh, design team project I wanted to share with you is... Um, ways that you can make embellishments using the trims that you can apply to other things and I'm going to show you two that I thought of and I'm going to be using some of her trim as you see here it's beautiful um, it has like the little dangly um, leaves I'm also going to be using um, this trim here And this trim, it comes like this, and as you see, I save everything, so don't don't throw nothing away, because you'll you'll want to use these. So this is the trim I'm going to show you, and I cut out several of these designs here, okay? And we're going to make a fan. And the best way I have seen to store your um, trims like this, um, get a piece of cardboard. Um, I use old cereal boxes or cardboard boxes um, that I get from getting stuff shipped to me. And I put them on um, 
I wrap them around and then I set them like this and what this does is this like for the longer pieces like this it keeps them straight and not bunched up and then when you lay them in your drawer or your container you can lay them like this and they'll all stay straight and nice for you to use okay so that's kind of like a little storage tip all right so I cut out several and I'm gonna we're gonna make a fan and we're going to use um, the detailed hot glue gun oh and people that um, ordered a crap load of these they're coming in on Wednesday possibly Tuesday and uh, they will be shipping out this week um, my distributor had a they decided to change their shipping uh, ways of doing things so uh, there was a little delay I posted about that on Facebook by the way okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to line it up perfectly so that it looks flush you know it looks like it just blends well with each other and you're going to take your time in doing this now this little um, fan can be used um, on ornaments it can be used on just a lot of different things I mean you can put it on the front of a book on your, any kind of shabby chic mixed media project that you have and I'm gonna do that one right there let me make sure yeah I'm gonna run a bead of glue down through here alright and I'm using hot glue uh, for this for the purpose of you know time or whatever um, you can hand sew, sew these if you want if you want to take the time to do that um, run them through your sewing machine but I think that would be very hard to do um, so I'm just using hot glue um, it okay so we're going to do another one I'm going to do five odd numbers are always pleasing to the eye okay there we go that beautiful it's so pretty now you can also take the little pieces here and you can do several things with them you can make a rounded flower like that or you can take them and put them in a pattern like this just keep going around like so that would make a beautiful lace looking snowflake look at that isn't that stunning I think that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> that would make a beautiful snowflake so we're just going to glue them around a little bit of hot glue. Ah. No worries. No worries. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to turn it. Well, yeah, you want to turn it that way some and as you can see I'm getting two different things out of the same trim and that is what I absolutely love about her trims is that you can do that you can get um, 
too different. Styles of things. Like that. See, they just move on along. Might have to use one more. There we go. And we'll have to snip off one more. Do I have one more here? Nope, I wouldn't, would I? <laughs> That's the way it goes. Okay, I'm just going to snip it off. And again, like I said, Fiona is a great person to learn. It's, um, she teaches how you can um, snip and get um, double, you know, create things from snipping out the patterns of stuff. She's always doing it, showing you how to do it and stuff. And, I've, and I have learned several tips from her by doing so. Always make it a habit, if you can, um, to when, you're, when you've got your laces out like this. Especially these um, great quality that you just pin them back up because um, you just don't want stuff to be sprayed on them or inked on them and trust me I have done it I have uh, laid lace down and done spritzing and all this stuff and you wouldn't think it would get on everything but trust me it does I have ruined good shirts I learned um when I went to crops, I would wear the ugliest shirt I had or the like an old t-shirt. And people were like, girl, you look like you're wearing your pajamas. I said, yeah. I said, the last time I come here, I ended up ruining a $80 shirt because I got glue on it. I said, I'm here to craft, not to do a fashion, be a fashion model. I mean, you know, that's like right now I'm in an old t-shirt. I always craft in old t-shirts or something. And lo and behold, I did. I got um, orange Lindy's on it today. Um, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me move the camera down. Um, I got orange Lindy's on it. Look at that. Stunning. It took four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at that. Now, you can put, um, you can put a beautiful, uh, get a piece of beautiful ribbon. Um, mm, let's see what I have around the house. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what I got in here. This is like my catch-all bucket. Well, to hang it up, let's put some pearl. I love these um, deflecto storage containers. They are working on, um, I think they're working on uh, where it's, you're able to purchase them yourself. Um, the craft option is new to them. So, be patient. They'll get it. Okay, so I'm just going to lay, ouch, that was my finger that I had hot glue all over it. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's curvy. Now you can do a lot. You can put a big fat piece of bling in the center. Let's see. Will I resist the bling? I don't know. Uh-oh, I can't resist it. Dang it. Or, ooh, ooh, ooh. Trace Store Deluxe has these. Now this looks like a poinsettia. You've got to get these for this year. Look at that. And it has bling in the middle. <gasps> yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. I like this. I love these flowers. And these are in her store. Look at that. Now, isn't that sweet or what? I love my mat. See? It cleans right on up. Yep. Look at that. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. I'm going to hang that on my tree. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. And then you can put a piece of felt on the back there. Um, here we go. Just cut you out a, a little circle here. Like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Lay it on the back there. Stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Okay. Then we're going to use the other part to that trim. And we made our fan. And you can do a lot with this. You can put pearls along here. Or you can buy a piece of her bling. And put a piece of it there. Or, um, I pulled out some more of her bling. Um, here's another gorgeous, yummy piece. Look at y'all, look at y'all. Like, you can glue it along there, maybe. I don't know. Um, then she has this piece, style of bling. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, I might use that. Just put it right there, like that. The only sad part is, is you gotta break this stuff. Um, you gotta be careful when you do it that you only bend that little piece there and two little rhinestones fell out but we can pull them right back in that's pretty that's just stunning. Gorgeous. Just love it. Love it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just, it's just dainty. It's just perfect. It's just beautiful the way it is. Um, let's see. Now I have this stuff called... Um, Pearl Garland. I don't know how it would look. No, I don't like that. I'm just gonna glue it on there, just to be. I mean, sometimes you just need just that. Just a piece of bling, like that. There we go. There we go. 
and then you can do some uh, pearls again hanging down um, let's see always keep um, you know your little remnants and stuff like that like this because they're going to come in handy for little things like we're doing here you know you can might glue this right here like that and I'll put another piece right here in the center just like that there we go then you can take and put a tea tiny rose you can put a pearl or you can put a vintage i got these these are vintage i thought these little suckers were going to be bigger i really did um but they're not they're tea tiny it's kind of disappointed but then i thought eh, maybe they'll come up with something like you can put they're like little rhinestone leaf type deals um I don't know I think maybe it just needs to be left alone I have these Swarovski let me put here we go see these are Swarovski's I know they are because I, I ordered these <clears throat> put one just right here on top of this pearl and my detailed glue gun is going to allow me to do that there we go look at that just oh sorry look at that just shine so pretty look out of that one trim We've made a fan and a snowflake type beautiful flower using the, her other flowers she has available. I love these. I've got to order more for this year. I'm going to have to place an order with her. And then, and they, aren't those gorgeous? They're just ready to go to be put on something. And see, you can put roses and you can um, bling up these a little bit more. But sometimes less is more. And I know we want to add. Now, my next thing I'm going to show y'all. Look at this. Look at this. I call this a, my cathedral flower. Because, let me tell you why. When I got this trim in uh, for this month, I looked at it and I thought, cathedral windows. I don't know why, but that was the first thing that popped in my head with, these, with this trim. Because, see, look. It looks like bishop's hats or cathedral um cathedral style uh windows so i took needle and thread and all i done was is i connected the tails together like this just needle and thread so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do it with hot glue um, just to speed up the process. So you're going to put a dot of glue there. Then you're going to bend the tails together. And take your finger and pop that out like that. You're going to grab and do this one. Like so. You're going to grab and do this one. You're going to grab 
one. Do this one. Like that. And then on the last one, ouch. On the last one, you're just going to snip right down the center there. And it actually gives you a line where you can snip. You snip right down that line there, okay? And see, you have one, two, three, four. I have enough to make one more. Okay, then you're going to take this and you're going to, I'm going to trim this up just a hair. There, like that. And then you're going to simply glue that right down there. Like so. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is something different. Now, you can leave these um, like they are and use them as flowers, but I'm going to take it one step further. Um, I am going to glue these ends together like this and I'm going to create a hanging um, ornament okay and I'm definitely going to be putting some bling in the center so basically all you're going to do what I would suggest you do is glue your centers first just to keep it stationary because you don't want it moving around a lot when um, you're trying to and make sure when you do uh, glue your center that everything will match up just like this see and pop everything out and all I'm going to do I'm just going to for the time being just going to glue the tips together like that pop this out glue this tip together and before I glue the last tip we're going to um, put um, pearl to make a dangle See, everything lines up so beautifully. When you do it that way, everything measures up. There's no, it's not difficult at all, even though it looks that way. People will be like, how in the world did you do that? It's magic. Okay, so now you're going to, now right here where um, it's not together, like right here, what I'm going to do is just run a bead of glue right here because that's where we connected our last petal when we made our flower and I'm just going to connect it like that whereas it would have been sewn remember we had to cut all the way down okay so now what we're going to do is we're just going to put some pearl I wouldn't put too much you don't you know you don't need much and you're just going to glue it right there Okay, and glue it right there, and then just glue that tip right there, and press, and just pull these out. Now what you're going to want to do now is go back in and glue 
the little points right here. Like that. If you need to. See? How cute. And just stick your finger in there and pop them out. Like that. Go into glue. That little point there. Like that. Just kind of see. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Just take them and just pull them out like that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. This is what I saw when I saw those. I was like, yes, I want to play with this. I want to create a beautiful ornament for my tree this year. And see right here, we had pieces that are kind of causing a little um, pull. Just snip them a little bit, just like that. And what that does is that frees up the tension. Okay, so now you can um, use a beautiful piece of bling um, in the center. And I think I'm going to use, this is a piece from my personal collection. Okay. And there we go. Just going to give it a firm press like that and then of course you're going to do the back the same way just kind of then right here i need to glue the point now um to make them stay poofy i don't know how it would look to stuff them i know that that thought has crossed my mind um I wouldn't know what to stuff them with that would look, um, you know, wouldn't look bad. Just going to glue that right there. I don't know. Now I'm just gluing up the edges closed on some of them just for um, looks, you know, there we go. So when this goes on the tree, um, let me get another piece of bling. Yep, I got one more. Um, it'll dangle and shine all the way through. I am building my shabby chic tree as we speak. So, this will look gorgeous. And I think it needs a bow. What do y'all think? You think it needs a bow? I think it needs a bow. A bow from what? I don't know. Um, let's see, hang on, let me pull out my, my stash here. I don't know. Now this is, I'm just going to try this. I don't know if I'm going to use it. Um. ladies that's kind of cute what do you think um, I think it needs a bow there we go I committed to it here's a bow 
there we go and I'm going to definitely trim up the tails a little bit better so they're not overwhelming um, for the center of my bow um, probably going to use another little shore skew crystal all right ladies um be sure to follow all the links below in the description box if you order from trace Shore deluxe tell them i sent you if you haven't done so please like this video share and subscribe to my channel and if you do use some of these concepts i would love to see your take on them and see how um yours turned out i think they're going to be beautiful um as they're super easy and i know you're going to enjoy uh creating with trace or deluxe product products because who does it and um here we go let's recap on what we have created here out of one um trim that you see here we created these two and also used one of her lovely new flowers with the bling in the center. And this one I call the cathedral trim. Um, the links will be in the description box down below for all of these, including the bling. Um, this is what I call it, but I'm sure it's something else. Um, but again, that's what comes to mind when I see it. So, and we just simply made a flower, put some of my personal bling in there and uh, created a bow with a little bit of Swarovski on it and there you go so you can make these and adorn uh, your projects with them um, you can make Christmas ornaments in which that's what I'm going to do and uh, that's it ladies for this week's design team project I will have two more this month and don't forget to if you have any questions or um if you do do again if you do this idea please uh link me to it i would love to see your take on it and uh again follow all the links below to my facebook page uh like my fan page because i'm always posting updates every day so until next design team project from trace shore deluxe i'll see you then bye bye